Yes, that's How do you say yarrows? Welcome to How Do You Say Yarrows? How do you say yarrows? <laughs> How do you say yarrows? It'll be all the fun in the world. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hello. hello. Won't you Bonjour. nuzzle? Hello. Is story time with us? <laughs> not, we're not doing that today. Although we will again. Yes, we will. We like that. We really love their story time, and I hope you nuzzled in with us. <laughs> like a little kitty. But those who don't want to nuzzle right now don't want to hear about that. They want to hear about why, what we came to talk about. And, you know, we've been really hard-pressed on this. We've had fans email us many times about it at this yeah. point. And, you know, we wanted to ignore this topic for a long time. But at this point, we feel like we're doing a disservice and, you know, it, we're being called out on it. <laughs> so we feel like we need to talk about it. It's an urgent, burning question. What do you look for in a pizza place? <laughs> and this is a big deal here because I think we both could say, Gabby, I, I'm going to speak for both of us here. Okay. There are a lot of different venues that we look at when we talk about pizza. Do you want, are we talking like purely takeout? Right. Are we talking about price? Are we talking about quality? And not just the pizza itself, but are we also talking about the incouchement on the side? Because there are some pizza places that are great mm -hmm. for pizza, but their sides are not that good. And opposite, some places have great wings, uh, great mozzarella sticks, great everything else, but their pizza, meh. Meh. Yeah, so what do you do in these scenarios? So, Gabby, let's talk about this. What? It, let's go in order here. Is it prior? Thank you. Yep, yep. Yep. Adam, we would really turn this podcast into something very different as we're being arrested for um, uh, for speeding, and I might just we be that. might be. So we might be. We're just we'll find that out. Keep it slow and yep. kind of slow this figure down. Figure it out. See how this plays out into this 30, yeah. 30, a balmy thirty-seven here. So keep it at maybe thirty-two. I I don't know if I could slow down even more so in that scenario. Okay, okay. <laughs> so. I'm trying to realize if the GoPro could even be on here while we're going. Probably nope. not. I got yep. it. Hang on one second. <laughs> well, we got pulled over. Uh, we were able to get a warning, though, so the officer was very nice. But it goes into our thought process on this. People don't want us telling the truth about pizza. Oh, no. I know, Gabby. They're coming for us. Everyone. <laughs> Not the cops, uh, but I just, can see it. We just have to say we're very thankful for the officer being very kind. Yep. And um, Very sweet to us. Yeah, maybe this should be a two-parter. Maybe we should talk about that and our pizza. No, let's do pizza. <laughs> no, no, no. This is... We don't need to talk about it. Maybe we do. I don't know. Let's let's dive into the pizza. Okay. I need the pizza to calm me. Oh, okay. I need to process the other thing to calm me and then talk about the pizza. Uh, do we want to pause and talk first or what do we want to talk about? Yeah, let's pause and talk about it real quick. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk and process um, what we like for in a pizza place. Yep. So, Gabby, if I could ask you this question here. Yes. If you had a rate the pizza places along this line say like choosing one is the best or one two and three and you can't like they can't overlap if you know what i mean okay. so you have to place first second and third what's most important price taste of the pizza or the sides price taste of the pizza and actually let's go number four here the ambiance of the restaurant all right so what like one two three four what is the most important to you okay um all right, so taste of the pizza number, is one. Number one, okay. Um, number two is going to be price. Okay. Number three is going to be ambiance, and number four is size. Okay, very nice. Yes. Um, do you, should I describe why? Oh. Or do you want to go and rate, do your rating? Let chart? me rate, and then let's go okay, back that way. Give it. Okay, number one is definitely taste of pizza. Okay. I, I agree with you fully. Number two, price. You got to get a good place yeah. that you, or, because it ties in with the pizza. Absolutely. I will say number three, though, is actually sides. Number okay. four is ambiance. Okay, so we're pretty consistent. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have different. three, four. Yeah, yeah. Situation. So let talk about it. Let's start it off together. Okay. Um, why is uh, taste of pizza first for you? It's pizza. <laughs> so, I mean, pizza restaurants. If it, it's all about the pizza, it, it, this is so self obvious in this. Yeah. But sometimes people, it's not so self obvious for everybody else. Somebody else is looking for a little, little Italian delicatessa, you know? Well, I think it goes, I think it's because we're talking about pizza. 
Mm. Although I was going to say that, but then I'm like, well, even let's say I go to an ice cream place and I was thinking, would I just prioritize the price over the taste for like an ice cream place? Conversely, mm-hmm. it's, it's, maybe sometimes, sometimes I would, you know, care more about the price than the taste. I yeah, think, I get that a little bit, but like for a pizza, I'm always going to, I want a good pizza. Yeah, I'm, I'm turned off by a bad pizza. Oh yeah. And I'm, I'm. I can deal with a mediocre pizza. I definitely can. But I think the only reason I can deal with a mediocre pizza is because we live in New Jersey and a mediocre pizza in New Jersey is probably really good compared to like the rest of the world's pizza. Well, I I think I love my Pennsylvania pizza still. So, I mean, (laughs) uh, Old Forge PA is the pizza capital of the world. Okay. Uh, There has never been anything that showed me pizza. New Jersey is the pizza capital of the world. Adam... We're gonna I just want to say, when we get pizza, you're not, like, crying and craving your pizza from Pennsylvania, okay? You are very happy with the pizza I don't pine over here. anything. I'm a grown man. You can pine over a baked good. Well, a baked good in general, but I don't cry and pine over <laughs> Pennsylvania baked goods. I'm just saying. I move on with like, my life. It's not you're like you're like, oh, we're going to get pizza. Man, I wish I could get pizza from my I, hometown. I have. I've talked about Ruby's. Aww. And yeah. <laughs> I've tried and everybody dislikes it. And obviously it's poor choice. Why don't you describe rubies to everybody? I think that's important. Well, actually, we'll come back to this in a second with affordability and (laughs) ambiance. We will. (laughs) That, because it's, their taste is tremendous. Uh, And you can't argue their price is very common. Uh, very competitive. Uh, it was yeah. very cheap. Okay. Um, pizza. When you talk about taste, you're looking at the crust and the sauce, I really think. It's mm. really about those two pieces. Yeah, I think that there's a good topping as well. Yeah. Because that's where, like, so, you know, one thing I will throw out. The topping that gets me is buffalo chicken wing. Okay. Because it's, what I don't like is when you give me a whole strip of chicken in there. Okay. Because you like not, the shredded chicken? I like shredded. Because yeah. to me, that's a, a consistency throughout it. Like, okay. Okay, great. You just put a chicken wing on my pizza. That's not that <laughs> impressive to me. But shredded chicken blended into it. That way it's a consistent biting atmosphere. Uh-huh, I like that. That matters to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I know, I, you're right. So when it comes to certain types of toppings, like how do they do that topping, that is very important. Yeah. Uh, but I would think in general, you're really looking at a place that has a good sauce mm. and a good crust. Now, do you prefer a thin crust or a thick crust? I definitely prefer thin uh, me too. I'm yeah. on the whole. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about deep dish pizza? I know it's a little off topic. Here. No, I enjoy it. I, yeah. mean, I don't think, I, I can't say that I've had like a true like Chicago, like I've never been to Chicago. We've I've wanted never, to go to Chicago. We though. do want to go. I would really enjoy it because I love bread. Yeah. So like it's, it's actually, yeah. yeah, it's surprising to me that I don't prefer a thick crust um, because I just love anything bready. But for pizza, because I just like to experience all of it together, I prefer a thin crust. I actually don't love... Um, what are those called? It's uh, the thicker Sicilian. Oh, really? I love I'm Sicilian. I'm not a Sicilian person except for the one pie that we love. Oh, you're from your um, from uh, Columbus. Yeah. You guys, it's amazing. Columbus um, Farmers Kate, Market or uh, Kate's, Kate's, I think. Uh, um, but anyway, that place that that's amazing, and I, that classifies as a Sicilian. But honestly, it's a thin crust Sicilian. Yeah, it, like it's on, a thin Sicilian. Yeah, it's a very thin. It, it barely is Sicilian. Yeah, so that although, that would be my only maybe that's Sicilian. Who, maybe this way. is who's coming after us, the Sicilians. <laughs> that, Why? Because we're talking about pizza. The police have already pulled oh, us wow. over. Mm-hmm. We're bad mouthing Sicily. No, we're not. Because Sicily's awesome. I think my grandpa's from Sicily. Maybe he's the one sending people after I us. I could be wrong. Someone fact check me on this. <laughs> um. Anyway. <laughs> Liam will, my brother, my brother. But, he will uh, definitely let yeah. me know. And uh, please do not text this. us. Email us at howdoyousayyaris at gmail.com. <laughs> I want to make sure that the email is still in use uh, oh. because no one, or actually only Alyssa really emails us. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, Alyssa. You're amazing. Uh, All right, so we've we've covered yeah, the but, taste. But yeah, yeah, I would agree. I think part. that the, uh, pricing to me is important as well. That's our second for both of us. I would agree. But I would say that I'm there is movement on that price. Okay. Yet again, there are some pizzas I'm willing to pay more for Absolutely. and others that I'm willing to pay less for. Very so, but true. I think it's in proportion to the delight of the pizza. Very accurate. Yep, that's true. Yeah, because mm-hmm. just in a very fair way of like one of our local places, Brothers, is yes. an excellent pizza. It's a little pricier though. Yeah. But you are like, it's a great pizza, so it's worth the payment. It's worth it. Yeah. I would say the price, it, it would, it impacts the frequency of how often you go. Very true. So if we love it, we're still going to get that pizza at some point. It's just, we're not, you know, we're going to be thoughtful about it. We're not going to 
it's not like we don't care about the price to the extent that we're going to we'll just get that any time yep. we might be more thoughtful and say well could we go to this other place that also tastes good yep. and maybe just switch it up so that we're not paying like the top dollar for yeah, it yeah. every single time yeah. but in another time it's like this is really worth it today we're going yeah. for it for you know brothers is like our more expensive or the Columbus pie is actually pretty expensive but honestly my dad always buys it because he's yeah. the one who gets it well but then there's a place right next to this Cafe Antonio's a $10 pie on Sundays is an incredible Amazing. deal and it's really good exactly really yeah. it's good taste really good taste and um, the they have specials on different days so you know if you were getting on sun on a Sunday you could get a ten dollar pie that's a great price it's amazing or a Saturday I think you could get uh, two for 19 oh that. yeah I saw that when we oh went even better I know even better so it's but amazing save 25 cents a pie exactly and their taste or, is really good I'm sorry I, 50 cents I will say with with that um, like we said before like maybe their taste isn't as good as yeah. the brothers um, but it's amazing the day of. I would say yeah. you, you notice it on the reheat. You know, and I, I would agree with you. You know, what the, What I would yeah. hear is, okay, say when kids, our kids have friends over one day and whatnot. Burn you know, it. An Antonio's, that's the way to go. So because good. there's no way, like Brothers is probably what, 15, 16 a pie? Yeah, at least. Somewhere For around like that. like a regular. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Cat, like, okay, that's obviously a big hit there. For the price of two Brothers, you could have three Cafe Antonio's. I will say, though, we never get a regular pie at Brothers. So... Antonio's regular pie is amazing. Re yeah. Brothers, we always get like specialty ones. So yeah, more know. often than not. Yeah, maybe yeah. we gotta rehash that. Yeah, we might have out. to try that. Yeah, yeah. This is. Yeah. You know, who are we to judge? Well, I mean, we haven't really because we always get specialties, which aren't gonna be more yeah. expensive anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're on ambiance, I believe. And we are on we'll, ambiance. And then we'll talk about uh, um, the sides. The sides. So, so I put ambiance before sides. Yep, this is your number three, and yes. it is my number four. So, what do you look for in your, um, why, I'm interested, why ambiance over sides? Simply because when I go for a pizza place, I don't really get sides. Interesting, okay. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. not too interested in the sides at a pizza place. Mm, that, what about wings? I don't order wings at a pizza place. Very fair. Yeah, I would never even really think to do that. Like, I would never... I mean, the most I would ever do maybe is if, if, they, if the place happens to have great salads mm. and the group is getting like one of those big salads to share. I, I like to have salad with my pizza, but I don't really do that when I'm out. I would do that more, you know, when we're like out, like at, at home and they have like a big salad. That's like a great combo for me. But when I'm having pizza out, I'm focused on the pizza. Gotcha. Like I just want to enjoy that pizza. So I'm not going to necessarily like pay for a whole nother salad because I know I'd, I'd just rather have another slice of pizza. You know what I mean? Okay, very fair. So I never think of getting any sides with a pizza. Like I wouldn't get fries, mozzarella sticks. I would never get, and I love soup. I would never get soup. Like why fill up on these other things if I'm going to have the pizza? And pizza usually comes pretty quickly. So I don't feel like I need to get something to, to wait if I'm really hungry. I can just wait, you know, mm. for the pizza. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. I will say the one thing that I don't think counts as a side, that's why I didn't put it with it, is a Diet Coke. No, that's a drink. So, yeah, if they have a good Diet Coke. That's a drink. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it's an extra. No, it's no. an extra. No, no, but nobody would say that a Diet Coke qualifies as a side. I mean, calorie-wise. There's zero say. calories. I mean, it's in, real Diet life, in real life calorie effect to your body. Well, the, the very different statements here. <laughs> no, no one here would say that a Diet Coke qualifies as a side. I could I could see defining it as a side. It's an extra thing. You're not just getting it's water. It's a drink. Yeah, but you're drinking cal you're drinking your calories there. There's no calories in a Diet Coke. <laughs> I don't know what you know what you think it is in a Diet Coke. There's sugar. There's no sugar. That's the point of Diet Adam. Coke. It's aspartame. It's a filler. Right. It's a substitute. It's not good for you. At, who could say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to disparage our friends at Coca-Cola. I love Diet Coke. That's why I'm saying. But you're it's saying a it's not factor. good for you. You don't know that. I know. I know. That. Uh, you know that now. We know who's sending the police after us. It's Diet Coke. <laughs> They're coming for you. Okay. So I'm not drinking Diet Coke really right now because I'm pregnant. Not but, up. <laughs> but I do. I love a Diet Coke with um, pizza. Like if you're going to go out to a restaurant. And I would say a part of the ambiance that I really care about is, and I think this is part of ambiance, let's see if you don't, I feel like you're going to disagree, is does the place have free refills? Oh, that's part of the ambiance. Okay. Oh, down to cloud. That is my biggest important factor in a pizza place as far as ambiance goes. Fair do they enough. have free refills? 
well. I can't argue with you on that. <laughs> That's okay, may I? Yes, please. So now I'm on the opposite side. I think sides are better, but here's why. I feel I very rarely go out to actually get pizza. Okay. I feel it's almost always we eat it at a house. Oh, okay. So to me, that's where I feel like I honestly don't care much about ambiance at all because so often we eat it at home. And yet again, and Makes truthfully, yeah, yeah. So very rarely do I get sides. I'm not a big wing person on the whole, but on I, I would prioritize that over the sides. I don't care if the place is a dump and ill-maintained if they have great food <laughs> because I so very rarely eat in a place. Right. Okay. So that that's where to me the opposite comes you're through. You're just assuming you're not eating there. Yeah, like the vast majority of pizza places I don't eat in because we bring it home. It's, uh, pizza is right. a takeout food in many ways. Yeah. This where it goes to my favorite place, Ruby's in Pennsylvania. Yes. Now, Gabby does not like Ruby's. Yes. It was, it's from a family's house that runs it. It's probably looked the same for 80 years. Yeah. They, and it is amazing. But we've noticed and none that. None of that is the reason I dislike it. Gabby does not like the taste. Yes. And, you know, we noticed Gabby and my sister's husband, Topher, both dislike the taste. That's right. And obviously it's a problem with their palates. <laughs> uh, but maybe it's just if you're not born with this or you're bred into it that it's not happening. But it is, it's one of my favorite pizzas. I will say, though, and although I love Ruby's, we've ordered it our whole lives, it is not good reheated. It is, it's a very saucy pizza, but so, but once it's, uh, once it goes into the fridge, it dries out terribly. <laughs> it's a very much, but it's also very light. You can eat a whole pie by yourself. So easily. I couldn't. <laughs> how much, how much is a pie at Ruby's? It might be eight dollars. Okay. Amazing. It's a very, or it might be more now to be fair. Amazing. I don't recall, I don't remember. We haven't gone pizza. in a while. No. I did find it fascinating to go. It's like, it's Gabby almost like half horrified. bar, half home. And you walk in the back and you see the home kitchen where they're making the pizzas. And they and are And you divine. pay someone who's sitting at like a little table with a box that's the cash register. That was my memory of that. What I'm hearing is that Gabby doesn't support small businesses. <laughs> I'm just trying to describe what it was like. I didn't mind any of that. If the pizza was banging, I would have eaten that. The pizza was banging. Not We're going to have different interpretations Yes, this. yes. I mean, I, I did, I will say, like, it wasn't inedible. I was able to eat the pizza. So. And this is also to say I've liked many a pizza that I've gotten with Adam in Pennsylvania. Thoroughly enjoyed And I've liked many New Jersey pizza. Absolutely. So, okay, so that is very interesting. I would never guess that you would prioritize, like, something like wings so much. Because you never order wings. I don't, but you know what? To me, we go on, we eat out so often that on the rare occasion, I would rather just know that that wings, whatever the side is that we would occasionally want, yeah. I'd rather know it's good. Because yeah. it's so often, you know, I the last time we ate out for pizza, I can't even remember. Yeah, it's true. For me, it's it's actually kind of a luxury to go out for mm, pizza. I get that. Yeah, that's fine. And we, Adam and I have done it, just the two of us, maybe I could count them on one hand. And we love it. Like, we really enjoy having done it because also, again, with the free refills, that's like such a free fun refills. Thing. Oh, I agree with that 1000%. Yeah, it just feels very luxurious. Like, you're getting a fully fresh pie. You're, it's so fresh because they came, they brought it to your table. So, right here. That's my only drawback with takeout because you, we, we love when you buy a food that's supposed to be hot. Adam and I really like to eat it as such. Yeah. Oh, I, I will throw this out. It is an enormous pet peeve. Yes. Of when. I have no understanding of why people put things out <laughs> when they're hot and it's clearly not meal time yet. Or like people aren't gathering to eat. Oh my gosh, let me tell you my biggest pet peeve with takeout pizza. Oh, what's that? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you know? I have a feeling, but okay. you go describe it. All right, so you get takeout pizza, which I love. I actually also think it's a luxury to get takeout pizza and eat it in the comfort of your own home. I love doing that with people. Like, that is so fun. So you've got pizza, so I'm, I'm all about it. But when you bring the pizza in, okay, people should, one, be ready. I know Adam and I are on the same page. Yeah. You knew you were ordering the pizza. You had to do it in a given time frame. So everybody knows the pizza is coming. You should have, like, gone to the bathroom quickly. If you need to go to the bathroom before you're eating, whatever. Now, the person who picked it up, I understand if they need to go to the bathroom. Mm. I totally understand that because you're just getting here. But I would also say the person picking it up, yes. they've done their job. They yes. should be ready to hand it off. Yes. If this is a dual street, somebody has picked it up, yep. the other people should have prepared, prepared to be ready to distribute. Whether you're sitting on the couch or whatever. Effort. Everybody's ready with the paper plates. You can start eating immediately because we've already had, however long it had to drive, this yeah. pizza has been cooling. You're on a time track. And this is why, at some point, I really feel like we might want to buy 
You know how the pizza places have those things that you put the pizza in it and it keeps it warm in the car? Oh, yeah, yeah. We need I to am look. actually seriously about wanting to get that at some point. It's not a bad option. I think even it would be for amazing. other foods. Because when you have kids, like, I know it'll be like you'll have to get other things ready. And then the whole time in my head, I'm thinking the cheese is solidifying. The cheese is solidifying. So I think we might want to get one of those cool bags. Anyway, so that's one thing. Everybody should be ready. The other key piece that kills me everybody gets their pizza. When people leave the box open, like Capital they crime. walk away with their slice of pizza and they leave the box open for the pie to be like exposed to the air and cooling. cooling. In yeah, yeah, yeah. That kills me. Yeah. And I always go over and reclose it, like seal it. We closed. have to teach our kids the correct way to live. Absolutely. Yeah, to yes. me, I'm with you 1000%. And I'll say this because we also make home pizza at times too. It's, yes. yo, know, if we're, you're doing this and you're, you've provided the pizza, to me, it is, yo, 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 don't tell me it's a delay on somebody else's side. We've made you dinner. This is <laughs> fine, but it's like, I, I, I very strongly feel like if we've had a set time where we said we're having this yeah. or a dinner and it's done, I'm not interested in waiting at this point for anybody else. And now, like, to be fair, that never happens. Nobody, There's no waiting when we make it because yeah. we're making it and it always takes like two hours. So yeah, everybody's yeah. ready to eat as soon yeah, as yeah, that yeah, pizza it, comes it, out of the oven. It's the, the, es- the, the open scented of food. Like, yeah. okay, wait, wait, wait. This is a dinner time. Everybody's provided. We all agreed we were going to eat at this time. What do you mean? You're not ready now? That you've had hours here and somebody's worked hard. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, you can do what you like. There's no dinner. <laughs> yeah, again, not Seriously. a problem with calzones or uh, yeah. strombolis no. and pizza because that takes so long to eat. And they also, also to, to so long to make, really. Yeah. And also, to be fair, like a good stromboli really does hold up well over long term. That one, it, I'm fine with that one waiting a little bit. Well, so that's because we make huge strombolis. And so when we order a takeout and they're little yeah. strombolis, I want to eat those right away because they will cool quicker. Yeah, well, and that's actually where I feel also with takeout, like going back to this pizza and also anything though, like you spend extra money to go out. Yeah. Like, this is even a bigger thing. Some Clearly, there's a level of cooperation in getting all of this. Yes. Don't waste this. Eat it fresh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will say, just a bit, just throw it in. I would put, would you put um, beach pizza in it any, would you rate it any differently? No, it would still go with the same exact category. Because you still have the taste, you okay. still have the price. To me, because, yep. yet again, ambiance is way down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's my least, so... Okay. Uh, but I do love a good slice because it is more expensive, but yes. they're a massive slice of pizza usually. That's why I was, I actually think with beach, beach pizza, I might put price first. Really? Because I feel like beach pizza is usually, I'm usually going to like it uh-huh. where we're going. Like, yep. Yep. I, I feel like I'll probably like the taste. So I actually, when I'm out there doing, like getting it, I will probably look to see who has a better price first. Mm. Even if I don't know what all of them taste like, I think I'm going to assume that I'm going to like the taste pretty much. Yeah. And, uh, like, I'm talking you're on a boardwalk or, like, right off the beach because they're usually so expensive, it's expensive, so it kills me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'll probably look for price first. Mm, that's fair. And then, uh, yeah, that I might prioritize that as far as a beach pizza. I could respect that as a beach mm-hmm. pizza. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this question here yeah. because I know we've talked a lot of things and we've talked a lot about pizza. How important is the reheating process to you in choosing a pizza place? It is, it, uh... Yeah, pizza, so for yeah. example, I'll go back to mine, Ruby's. Yeah. My favorite pizza in the world yeah, to eat. Yeah, yeah. But it is my, among my least favorite to reheat. Yeah. So it is like, for me, when, I, when I've ordered that uh, with family, I'm like, I'm never encouraged to eat more. I'm, I want to definitely have like... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to leave extra pies at the end because I'm really not going to participate. And I am a leftover eater, so yeah, it's we not. Both are, yeah, yeah it, to me, it's just this does not taste particularly great. It's too dry. Yeah. Opposite, like there are other places, yo, I'm, I, you know, hey, like Cafe Town, or maybe, yeah. or, or uh, Brothers, Brothers or yeah. another, like, actually, you know, I was thinking of, you know, one day when we have kids, maybe order an extra pie. This is great. We could wrap it up, freeze it, like this mm-hmm. could be, or like say we know, oh great, we've got lunch taken care of tomorrow. Like sure. not worried if we have two or three extra slices. Yeah. Like that's convenient. Um, I would say it's it's lower on the list. Okay. Because I, it, when I think of pizza, I we, we usually order with a lot of people or if it's just the two of us, like in one pie, like I feel like we're going to finish it. Yeah, that's true. A lot of the times with the amount that we order and the ratio to people, I feel like we're often going to finish it. Mm-hmm. And if we don't, since I've already prioritized taste, I feel like I'm in a good place that I'll probably 
whether I put taste at one or two, I'm going to be okay with the reheat if there are any leftovers. But I don't buy pizza thinking there will be leftovers. Oh, that's fair. So don't buy with it this in mind. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. That's when I'm at a restaurant, like I'm getting a meal or whatever, I do think, because I usually kind of in my head say I'm going to eat half of this. Mm -hmm. So I do think in those scenarios, think about something that will be good on the reheat sometimes and okay. that will affect me. What about you? Oh, I think about, reheat? you know, in large groups, no, not so much. But I think with kids, I will. Uh -huh. Is it will be like, okay, you know, is it 10 bucks more? Is it worth it? Oh, great, we've covered lunches. This is a little fun. Or You're investing in yeah, yeah. So the I think, next day. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Very rarely will I buy that for the reheat. Yeah. But I do think there will be times with you know, children, other people, like, oh, okay, this is worth a question here to think about. Like, uh -huh. you know, if we, yeah, you know, we have six, half a pie left over because, you know, we just got enough. Like, I think that'll come into play. Very fun. Yeah. Well, that's all for our pizza talk, I think. Yeah, I think we've discussed this. The powers that be have not silenced us yet. <laughs> but if you have a great pizza place that you think we should try, or better yet, if you are a pizza place and you want to send us pizza, <laughs> email us at howdoyousayaros at gmail.com. Uh, follow me at Adam Yaros. Yay! Keep calm and pizza I on. I can't. Ugh. Uh,